I'm Cleola Andrews and I'm the Deputy Chief Executive Officer at Cancer Australia, which is the Australian Government's National Cancer Agency. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land and pay my respects to the Elders past and present, for they hold the memories, the traditions and the culture and hopes of Aboriginal people. I'm really delighted to present at the TCRN workshop because I think it's so valuable for PhD candidates to understand the full range of job opportunities. But also, I like to joke that this is my unofficial recruitment strategy. I've had students who've come to speak to me at these workshops and now work for me at Cancer Australia. I've been asked to talk to you today about a career in government. I've been working in government for about 12 years now, and I didn't know that I wanted to work in government when I was doing my PhD. In fact, I didn't even know there were jobs for people with PhDs in the government sector. So my career journey has not been a straight line path. My journey has been guided by doing things that interest me, but it's also the result of taking some opportunities when they present, but also taking some sometimes some very big and scary leaps of into the unknown. I've been working cancer control for 20 years, but my PhD was actually originally in IVF. I changed sectors and worked in the not-for-profit sector as both a project officer and a senior project officer for about six years, and then moved to the government sector where I've had a range of roles, such as um, I've been the director of a number of national programs, the general manager of portfolios, and currently I'm the deputy CEO of an Australian government agency. The constant in all of these jobs has been the ability to apply and leverage my skills and also learn and develop new ones. But the skills and experience that I developed during my PhD are still very much the skills uh, that I use today. So most PhD students have never really considered a career in government. And so some of the common questions that I get asked are, why would I want to work in government? What on earth do you do in government? Do I have the skills? And how would I apply? So why would you work in government? But perhaps let me ask you, why did you do your PhD? I assume most of you did your PhD in science or medicine because you were interested in health. You're also motivated to improve health outcomes and you wanted to make a difference to the lives of people, but also try and make difference to the lives of different population groups that may have poorer outcomes and benefit the community overall. In government, you do all of those things. You just do them in a slightly different way. And the other thing you might not have appreciated is that the Australian Public Service is actually one of Australia's biggest employers. There are careers there to suit anyone and at all different life stages, right from school leavers and graduates looking to start in the workforce through to senior executives and professionals who want to shape the future of Australia. Some of you may not know what government does, and it might seem like a big black hole, but also like a black hole, it's anything but empty. Rather, government is packed like a black hole is with a great amount of matter. So... In government or working in government really provides you the opportunity ultimately to create public value. It provides you with the opportunity to shape the future and improve outcomes for individuals and society. And the types of functions that you may undertake when you're working in government include providing policy advice and contributing to the development of policy, contributing to strategic decision making, program design and implementation, service delivery and advice to the public, but also a great deal of stakeholder management. I've had the opportunity and the privilege during my career in government to participate and lead a number of diverse activities, including things like developing and implementing new national research strategies and funding policies, establishing new government and non-government partnerships, developing new models of cancer care, and oversighting national inquiries that have potentially changed the face of care and outcomes for people with cancer. Now, you're probably wondering, do I have the skills to work in government? The APS actually has some core capabilities that it recruits to, and the list you can see on your screen in front of you. Many of you may be surprised that the training and experience that you already have means that you both have direct and also transferable skills which the public service would recruit against. 
by the time you finish your PhD, you can probably think of examples where you've been able to demonstrate these capabilities, such as strategic supporting strategic direction, achieving results and communicating with influence. So how would you apply? How do you find out what the jobs are, what jobs are available in the public service? Firstly, the Australian Public Service has a dedicated website called apsjobs.gov.au and that provides a range of positions across departments and agencies across the entire Australian government. There's also guidance for you on the APS Jobs website about how to respond to selection criteria and also how to frame your CV. You also may, may want to visit the website of specific agencies because many agencies that you may be interested in working with would have career opportunities um, advertised directly on their sites. I'd also really strongly encourage you to use your networks and connections to find out about jobs. Some non-ongoing or limited term opportunities may not be advertised and therefore your networks and your connections and talking with people can really highlight or identify where some of those jobs might be. You may also want to consider taking a limited term position to help build your experience, which would then make you more competitive in applying for an ongoing position in the government. My first job in government was a 12 month non ongoing contract, and that was six jobs and 12 years ago. So working in government may not be the right career path for everyone, but you may want to consider it as it just might be the right career path for you. Thank you.